Welcome to my kitchen one more time, y'all. We're doing Paula's quarantine cooking. And do I have a surprise for y'all? Surprise! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> I got the tall big guy with me today. And uh, I think the other one might be popping in pretty soon. So I'm just thrilled to have Jamie and Bobby here with me. Um, you know, we don't get to do it as often with these crazy crazy times in our life, you know? We're all having to be so careful. But hopefully, these quarantine shows bring y'all a little pleasure. All right, so son, we are gonna show everybody how we do our fried green tomatoes at all of our family kitchen uh, restaurants. Awesome. And the lady and sons. But, since so many people have picked up our air fryer, a lot of folks have an air fryer, and it's 100 degrees outside, and it's really hot to crank up that stove. So let's see if we can't show them how to do it in the air fryer. Let's get to cooking. Let's get to cooking. All right. And here's Too much talking, not enough cooking. <laughs> oh. I can't eat the talking. I'm ready to eat the food. Y'all get tired of me talking. I'm ready to eat. Okay. I love fried green tomatoes. Okay. I haven't had them in a long time. Okay. Well, why don't you start with the sauce? All right. Because we serve these with what we call <laughs> an onion relish. By day, your onions, chives, uh, but we didn't have any chives, so we're using a spring or a green onion, mayonnaise, brown sugar, and uh, vinegar. Rice vinegar, right? Rice wine vinegar, yes. All right. So, so if you'll put all, all that these in, things together. I've got a little flour in my bowl, and I love panko, and this is what we use at the restaurants. To me, it just makes for a crispier one. So, but you need some flour in with your panko. It, the flour just seems to make it stick better. So, I'm not measuring it, I just kinda know what portion I like. And that looks pretty good to me. Now, it's important, so your tomatoes won't be soggy, y'all. It's important that you slice these, and we set ours in a colander, uh, and salt them, and that salt is gonna help pull the water out of them, which is a good thing. That'll keep them from being soggy. All right, so we've got our pan of buttermilk. That is gummy. Like my cousin said, every time he hears his phone ringing, it's somebody. <laughs> but I'm not going to answer that somebody because I don't recognize their number. All right, so we got our buttermilk here and our flour and our panko here. Jamie's got our sauce mixed up. Uh, I don't remember it being that liquidy, but I guess it is with the vinegar. It's not right. my recipe. <laughs> I'm free. That's what was given to me. That's perfect. How many times am I gonna hear this today, you wonder? You wanna bet? <laughs> All right, Sonny boy. The tomatoes go into your buttermilk. And yes, you can help if you want to. Oh, you don't wanna get your hands good up, do you? <laughs> well, I got some tongs sitting right there, so I'm gonna use them. Okay, well, just dip them all around. And then you want to heat up this air fryer first, or you're going to put them you in know, there cold? You know what, son? You don't have to, but we can. Uh, and <laughs> it's so hard for me to see backwards, y'all. It's hard for me to see frontwards, <laughs> much less. All right, uh, my air fryer goes to 430 in, in this style. And that's a hot, hot air fryer. And uh, then I can come up here and see what I need to put it on. Let's look for vegetables. 350 for vegetables. But I think I'm gonna do it on maybe 400. All right, so we'll get that to going. Okay, so now I'll, I'll do this because I'm gonna get my hands in it. I have to feel. I have to feel and make sure that um, panko is sticking. 
and see if I need to add some more flour to it. You know, I'm a toucher of my food. Just there you go. Make sure it gets on there real good. I may need to add a little bit more flour because you see the you see the panko kind of sticking, but I think all the flour has already been taken up. So I'm gonna go over here and just put a drop more flour. And you can keep talking <laughs> if you want to. But My yeah. grandmother Paul used to make fried green tomatoes and she just dusted them with a little bit of salt and pepper and some flour and we put them in a cast iron skillet and cook them until they got crispy. God, and the tanginess of those green tomatoes is a flavor that I have in my mouth right now. Just thinking you about it, it's one of my favorite things to eat. You are exactly right. That's just the way Grandma cooked them. And of course, they're not as crispy, and uh, they could get kind of soft on you. But were they ever more delicious? My favorite. With that little bitty light crust. Hush, guys. Why don't you turn the phone wait, wait, off wait, when wait. you're doing this? Because I don't know how, and quite often there's somebody at the gate that uh, I have to let in. So you hear Gus, when he hears that phone ring, he runs to that front door waiting for whoever it is to come in. Yeah, he's gotten more vocal in his later years. He has. I'm telling you what, I said a good heavy leaf falls and all right, son, I am now going to put these in our air fryer, but because I want to help them crisp, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give them a spray and then we'll turn them over about halfway through cooking. I'm gonna give that a spray too. Ouch. <laughs> these look just like the restaurants. Don't they? They do. Yeah, my stomach's growling. I think that's a hoot that you remember how Grandma Paul used to fry her tomatoes. I don't ever forget good food. You know, and that's the way I fried them too, up until we went into the food business. And you know, you just want to try to make things a little extra special. So there you go. Uh, I'll set that on like, <laughs> I'll set that on like 10 minutes. And then we will flip them, spray them. How long are they gonna cook in And there? eat them. I don't, I don't know, son. Uh, I always set all my food for 10 minutes, and then I look at it. Perfect. Well, 10 minutes will give us enough time to wash our hands. I know. Oh, wait. <laughs> you didn't get your hands dirty. So, y'all, I think these worked out real good in the air fryer, don't you, yep, Jamie? perfect. The secret is to keep turning them, uh, and they just got so crispy brown, and I made sure I sprayed them, and that helps crisp them up. Is that your plate or our plate? It's going to be our plate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Bobby, Bobby just got here, y'all. So. Oh, boy, perfect time. Yeah, so you can come in and what sample you fried green tomatoes Ooh. with uh, Vidalia relish. Oh, come on. Mm. They good? Mm. You know what? Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I do like to cook them in in uh, air in uh, deep grease, but if you're worrying about your calories and your cholesterol, you can't beat the air fryer. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try to choke down another one. It tastes really good. Hmm. Does come out of the air fryer? Mm-hmm. Go after it. Yes. Fantastic. So hot. A lot of calories cut. That is great. The Vidalia onion. Mm -hmm. What is it? Like a vinegar. Vinegar? Oh. Mm. Right there. Now that one got me. 
我一把三十分之一的活人生交给他。I love my sons, and I love my fryer. <laughs> really good. Thank you, Mark. Very good. Thank y'all. Maybe that's the best so dishes. Finish this. <laughs> hey, y'all! It's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.